All right, so at some point in time, you get a 3D printer, you're gonna wanna change out the nozzle. Uh, this comes from the factory stock with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I have changed it up to a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, but they also have a 0.6 and a 1.0 nozzle to go in here. Uh, I wanna drop back to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle because I'm gonna try and print a helmet with uh, minimal layer lines, dropping it back down to a 1.2 layer height. Uh, so I've got to switch this out. Now, some printers are pretty easy to change out nozzles. Other printers are not so much easy. Uh, this would lean on the not so much side. Um, it's still not all that difficult, but it would be nice if you could just come up in here with a socket, unscrew this nozzle, take the new one, screw it up in there, done, you're off to the races, and you're printing again. But this one, you've got to take the print head apart. It's not bad. Probably the most important thing you need to do, get yourself a decent quality set of uh, Allen wrenches or hex wrenches, whatever you want to call them. I got this set off of Amazon. I don't know who makes them, but they're pretty freaking high strength, high quality. The wrenches that come with your printer suck. They have poor tolerances and they're pretty much just designed to strip out your screws. So just throw the ones away that came with the printer and buy yourself a new set. Figure that into your budget when you're going to buy a printer to spend 30, 40 bucks on a decent set of uh, Allen wrenches before you have to start working on these things. All right, so let's tear this print head apart and change this nozzle. There's four tiny little screws on above each of the fans. Okay, before lifting the fans out of the way, you got to get in here and disconnect this sensor. Get a decent little tiny pair of uh, bent needle nose pliers, and that allows you to just get in here and disconnect it and get it out of the way. Once it's disconnected, then you can lift your fans. and just slide them up out of the way like that. So now you got your, your nozzle down here. There's a rubber boot over it. Take that off. All right, so this is a six millimeter uh, head on here. Uh, before you go to turn this nozzle out, get a pair of pliers and hold on to the hot end up here. If you don't, you run the risk that you can twist this and actually break it off. All right, once it's broke loose, then you can usually just unscrew it by hand. And there is our old eight millimeter nozzle. Pretty gummed up and needed some thorough cleaning anyways. Where is my four? I need my old man glasses on so I can read these things. That's 0.4 millimeter nozzle. All right, and that is it. We are ready to start printing with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Don't forget, like, subscribe. See you next time.